a very small thing that I forgot to tell you in the previous video was about the dielectric strength. So let us quickly have a look at uh, what that means. So uh, let's say this is again your capacitor, the two plates of the capacitor, and you have uh, some charge on this capacitor. Let's say it's charged, and it's uh, yeah charged on both sides yeah, like that. And let's say it's not connected to anything for now. Uh, so you have some uh, dielectric uh, between the two plates let that be shown in red like this yeah so now uh, obviously we know that uh, if we have a dielectric due to the electric field of the two plates the electric field between the two plates the dielectric will get polarized and we'll have some uh, we'll have a small layer of negative charge on this side and a small layer of positive charges on this side right but uh, what happens if we keep on increasing the uh, charges on both the plates which means that we have to we are increasing the electric field between the two plates what would happen if we keep on increasing that electric field so obviously as we increase the electric field we will get more and more polarization in the dielectric but after some a certain point the electric will be will be so strong that it will be able to pull out pull out electrons from the bonds of the dielectric so i hope you remember uh, so this is pretty much similar to what happens in a zener zener diode where you have the breakdown voltage and as you exceed the breakdown voltage the electric field in the in the semiconductor that pulls out electrons from the uh, depletion region uh, sorry not the depletion region the other region so it actually begins to pull out electrons from the covalent bonds so something similar happens here the electric field gets so strong that it begins to pull out electrons from the dielectric and essentially this begins to conduct so the insulator begins to conduct and your uh, circuit is complete and your um, capacitor can then no longer hold charge so it is kind of the failure point of your capacitor this is the point beyond which you cannot increase the voltage and if you do so your capacitor will no longer work as intended and it will kind of behave as a short circuit and your current will start flowing so that is something that we do not want to happen obviously so that is one thing that you need to keep in mind if in future someday you wish to construct uh, capacitors that if you want to make a capacitor that will work let's say at high voltages you have you have to make sure that the dielectric has enough strength so the voltage at which the dielectric will begin to conduct is called dielectric strength or it is the voltage at which the conductor will begin to conduct this this uh, sorry this insulator or the dielectric will begin to conduct and this is kind of tells the strength that the dielectric has to stop current from flowing once you exceed this uh, voltage this dielectric strength the dielectric can no longer stop the current and it will allow the current to flow so just a very small example here if you've ever seen lightning uh, lightning bolts outside your house uh, during uh, thunderstorms so what ha actually happens there is that you have your clouds there and you have the ground so the crowd the clouds are actually charged and the clouds and the ground also act as a capacitor because there's some charge difference i won't get into why that is uh, how that is formed but there is some charge difference between the clouds and the ground and so this is like a capacitor and the dielectric in this case is the air of the atmosphere right so there's air here and this air is the dielectric of this capacitor so this is these two the cloud and the ground are charged and you have the air as dielectric now as the charges the charge separation increases uh, the potential difference between the cloud and the ground increases the, also the electric field between the cloud and the ground increases on increasing and after a certain point that electric field gets so strong that the air can no longer stop the current from flowing and you get a current uh, flow which we see as the lightning bolt so that is 
uh, why thunderstorms happen and that thunderstorm is due to the uh, voltage or the potential difference between the two between the cloud and the ground exceeding the dielectric strength of air so yeah that's basically it that is what dielectric strength means